Seven minutes after the hour of 7 o'clock, welcome to a Thursday. It's the 24th day of May for 2018. Here's what's happening with local news. Well, the Amador School Board approved a number of action items at its meeting last night. The board approved a contract with the company Spyglass to implement savings in the district's telecommunications system by methods such as shutting down unused phone lines and getting more favorable government rates on services. According to the company's audit, the district will receive hundreds of thousands of dollars in cost savings. The board also last night approved a new system to perform their annual self-evaluation. The new self-evaluation contains 60 different questions on a wide range of issues such as unity, culture, and analytically ability. Now, each board member will rate on a 10-point scale. Also approved at the meeting was a service agreement to provide driving training to district bus drivers. So that would be driver training to district bus drivers. And with the school year ending, the board also honored its first class of student board representatives, Lauren Armstrong, Vanessa Christofferson, and Eric Dennis. The board also oversaw the awarding of over a dozen block letters to students who have served the required hours of community service. If you'd like to uh, watch last night's uh, board meeting, you can visit our Facebook page, the KVGC Facebook page. It's there in its entirety. Well, the Calaveras County Supervisors postponed any formal action this week over the sanctuary state policies of California. The board heard from several members of the public on the question of whether to pass a proclamation that indicates the county will fully comply with federal immigration officials and is in opposition to state law that limits law enforcement cooperation. Now, a majority of those from the public that spoke during the public hearing were supportive of the federal government and opposed the state legislation. It was also noted that more clarification regarding the state and federal squabbles should be known following a court date coming in mid-June. Now, after lengthy discussion, Board Chair Gary Tuffinelli pulled the supervisors, and the decision was to postpone action until after the legal hearing in June. In addition, the supervisors expressed a desire to make the proposed opposition to state law known in a resolution as opposed to the proclamation. And the Amador County Board of Supervisors will vote on the final approval to the county's next fiscal year budget very soon. The board has completed the annual all-day workshop hearings from the managers of 24 different county departments presenting details of their budgets and answering questions on how the money would be spent on various programs and plans implemented. All told, Amador County expects to spend $90 million in the next fiscal year. The board will hold its final votes on that budget in June. The new budget goes into effect on July 1st. And the Calaveras Water District Board of Directors voted unanimously yesterday to approve a rate plan that will increase water and wastewater rates over the next five years to cover rising operational costs. About 35 people attended the meeting and 14 addressed the board during public comment. The first of five water and sewer rate increases take effect in July of this year and each subsequent increase every July through 2022. Well, over the past two months, CCWD staff and board members have undertaken a countywide public outreach campaign. Eight town hall meetings, nearly 20 community meetings were held during that time to ensure customers have the opportunity to understand the proposed changes in full. For more detailed info about the approved five-year rate plan, visit CCWD online. And with 2018 Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee in the books, here's a quick wrap-up of the final numbers. The Junior Livestock Auction exceeded just over $610,000 this year. The fair also held two additional auctions, the Industrial Arts and the Replacement Heifer Auctions. The overall unaudited fair attendance, 31,000. That's the biggest, uh, the biggest day was Saturday, and this number is equal with last year's. And with a big thank you, everyone that helped out, over 350 volunteers each worked countless hours to help uh, the 2018 Calaveras County Fair and Jumping Frog Jubilee. And again, a big thank you from Fair CAO uh, Lori Giannini and the Fair Board to all the volunteers, over 350 people volunteering to help with this year's fair. 
And the Amador Central Railroad invites you to ride the rails this weekend. Two special excursions run from Ione to Martell on Saturday. The speeders depart from Lane Station outside Ione, run eight miles up to Martell, then back. The special runs take about two and a half hours for each round trip. There are two times for departure, 10 in the morning, 1.30 in the afternoon. Tickets are only 20 a person. We'll go on sale at 9.15 a.m. at Lane Station on 104 near the railroad crossing, about two miles south of Ione. Just follow the signs. Tickets are first come, first serve. No advance ticket sales available. Children must be five years or older. For more info, AmadorCentralRailroad.com. That's a look at local news on a gold country Thursday morning. From the KVGC News Center, I'm J.D. And I'm Jim Geedy reporting. For the latest news, traffic, and weather 24 hours a day, visit our website, kvgcradio.com.